Full sprint, my cleat got caught right at the bottom of the fence. I turned around and I tried to step on it again and I realized I couldn't get back up. We knew immediately it was um, not a good, not a good injury. I lifted up my leg and my leg was over here through the sock. Both of my bones were completely, they were snapped all the way through and they just weren't lined up anymore. Complete breaks of the tibia and fibula, a gruesome injury that led to emergency surgery. Those breaks were addressed with a rod and screws. Megan soon learned that the breaks in her mind and spirit also required repair. The nights were especially hard when it was just like you couldn't sleep because you're on all these like different pain medications and just, I mean, you're laying in bed all day. So at that point, sleeping's just like, it comes and goes. While physical rehab strengthened Megan's body, something else was needed to strengthen her spirit. First, from her teammates. Before quarantine hit, they were over every day, like picking me up, just talking with me, just sitting there hanging out. Then, from a younger version of herself. I made a promise to myself. I'm like, I will touch the softball field again. It's been my dream since I was seven, so I don't want to break little seven-year-old Megan's heart. I think it's fair to say seven-year-old Megan's heart is safe. A rehab that doctors expected to take nine to ten months was complete in less than half that time. And now, almost a year to the day after her injury, Megan leads her team in hits, doubles, runs scored, and has four homers. When I broke my leg, like, it honestly did make me stronger. Her bat is definitely very lively right now. At this point, anytime I'm on the field, I just play my best, I give it 100% because honestly, you really never know when your last game is gonna be because my entire season was taken away from me within two seconds of hitting the fence.